All right, thank you, for everybody, for being here. It is afternoon now. Uh, please turn your cell phones off. Um, so here's what we're going to do here today. We're going to have a statement by uh, Chief Todd Garrison of the Northport Police Department, followed by Gabby's uh, father, Joe Petito. Uh, after Joe speaks, he's not going to take any questions. Uh, Chief Garrison will take a few questions, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the best we can on that. So thank Chief you. Todd Garrison, thank you. Thank you all for being here. My name is Todd Garris, and I am the Chief of Police of the City of Northport. Um, today we're here to talk about uh, Gabby. Um, Gabby was a resident of, or is a resident of Northport, and Northport is a close-knit community where what happens is felt by all. We are here today to provide an update to Gabby Petito, who was reported missing on September 11th, 2001. In June of 2021, Gabby and her fiance embarked on a cross-country trip with plans to travel across the West Coast and visit state national parks in the Western United States. They were traveling in Gabby's 2012 white Ford van and documented their journey on YouTube and social media. We have a picture of the white Ford van that they were traveling in. She maintained regular contact with her family members during her travels However, that communication abruptly stopped around the end of August. Gabby is a vibrant 22-year-old with a love for life and adventure. She's a daughter, a sister, and a granddaughter. She was excited to share her cross-country trek with others on social media and with her family. Gabby's family and those in the community here and in New York who know and care for her are hoping for answers about her whereabouts. We have investigators working diligently around the clock, as well as with the FBI. The FBI is present here today to show their solidarity and commitment to this investigation, and we are grateful for all their resources. Due to the uh, geographic scope of the investigation, uh, it's important that we partner with our federal and local partners. At this time, I'm gonna allow Joe Gabby's dad to come up and say a few words. All right, what I need from everybody here is help because the, the goal is still not met. And that goal is to bring Gabby home safe, all right? And uh, I'm asking for help from everyone here. I'm asking for help everyone at home. I'm asking for help from the parents of, uh, of Brian and I'm asking for help of the family members and friends of the Laundry family as well. You know, there is a tip line that you can call anonymously. Whatever you can do to make sure my daughter comes home, I'm asking for that help. There is nothing else that matters to me now. This, this girl right here, this is what matters. That is it. Anything else, it comes second to this. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Our focus is to finding Gabby. And we are pleading with people out there to give us information, point us in the direction that we need to be, and help us find Gabby. Gabby and her family deserve that. Right now, I'll go ahead and ask, answer a few questions that I can. Go ahead. Yesterday, you reached out on Twitter to one of attorney. Have you heard from him? I have not. Is there any criminality suspected in the case, or is this just a missing person? Right now, we are investigating a missing person case. So no criminality suspected? Uh, none, none at this time. Right now, it's a uh, missing person case. Chief, how frustrating is it knowing that the family lives just a short distance away from the police department here? I'm sure your officers have to drive by his house, and to know that he hasn't given you any clue either. Well, we share the frustration with, with the world right now. So, you know, two people went on a trip, one person returned and that person that returned isn't providing us any information. Chief, can you bring Brian Laundry in for hindering the investigation or for stealing Gavin's car? Right now, no. Have you guys learned anything from the van or from the phones at all? Right now, we're still analyzing all that data, which takes time to forensically uh, analyze all that. Is the body cam video out of Moab? Is that offering any sort of insight into maybe what potentially happened? Are you using that as part of your investigation? 
we, we look at everything that's coming in. Um, as far as that have, having to do anything with the disappearance, we don't know. I mean, yes, they had a disturbance. Yes, it was captured on uh, body camera, their interaction with law enforcement. But beyond that, you know, I don't know what it has to do with the disappearance. Do you guys know um, when exactly Brian left and headed for Florida? We know he came here on the 1st, but do you know when he went, left from the West Coast, and if there's any indication that Gabby was with him on that trek back? Right now we're analyzing that data, um, so we don't have that timeline narrowed down. Um, there's a lot of information that we have to go through. Do you know where Brian Laundrie is right now? Yes. Chief, has the family attorney said anything at all to you during your uh, the family attorney arranged uh, to get us some property that we were looking for, um, and beyond that, no. Did you told me that she said that she last spoke with her daughter on August 30th, or at least someone she was purporting to be her daughter. Has any forensics been done on her phone? Have the phone records been requested? Have they been provided? Everything is being forensically uh, analyzed right now, and it, it takes time. Including Nicole's phone? We, no, we don't have Nicole's phone. And have you requested it? Requested from who? From her. Oh, I'm sorry, from Nicole's phone. I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't have the answer to that as far as uh, uh, that. At this point in the investigation, is Wyoming still the last place that she was known to be? Right now, it, it seems to be the area of, that we're looking at. What would it take in your investigation to bring Martin in again? Right now, this is a missing person case, all right? And our focus is to find Gabby. My focus isn't to bring Brian in right now is to find Gabby. Brian is exercising his uh, constitutional rights, and I have to respect that. Um, but as of right now, um, the focus is finding Gabby. Well, she's been missing for two weeks and could possibly be in danger. Why does he get the privilege to tell you no that he's not coming in to speak to you? Because the Constitution protects that. Where are search teams looking currently? And are they law enforcement like search teams? We have no physical search teams on the ground like doing grid search right now. Uh, we have resources and law enforcement partners that are out in the field following up tips and leads. Uh, but as far as a grid search right now, we're still trying to narrow down uh, geographic areas. And do we know the exact date and exact like confirmed location that she was? We're still analyzing There's been that. like some say Salt Lake City, some say the National Park. Any you know, the, the information, there's a lot of information coming through. We have to analyze that information. We have to vet that information, and it takes time. So is there any history of police interacting with Brian here in Northport or any incident involving Brian and Gabby here in Northport before they went on this trip? I know they've been here a couple of years now. No. Was she on any kind of medication? Not that I know of. And was Northport police aware of her mental health issues before the Mollig report came out? I'm not, I'm not aware of any of them. No, right now the, the, the data, the stuff that we found in the in the van is being analyzed. Uh, I don't know if it has any evidentiary value to it or not. Obviously, this was a van used by the both of them, uh, which personal belongings and stuff are in there. Whether or not it has anything to do with the case, we don't know. I know you tweeted at the attorney. How frustrating is this for you personally? I want to bring Gabby home. You know. So, of course, it's frustrating. And he answered us. We asked him about your tweet, and he said no comment. Your response, sir? Where's Gabby? That's my response. No, emotionally for you, as a father, as a human being, you know, talk about what it, this case is triggering for you. This isn't about me. This is about Gabby, and that's where I want to keep the focus. No, I know, but, you know, just looking at her face, talking with her, her family, how, how is this, does that, you know, any response from you to well, it, it, it's driving us to keep working. I mean, long hours, long days. Um, it, it gives us the momentum to keep going forward. Have any of the social media platforms reached out to your agency as part of the investigation and offered up any of the metadata? We have great um, cooperation with the social media platforms out there. How difficult is it as you guys are here she possibly went missing over there. You know, geographically speaking, how difficult is that for the investigation? We have uh, partners federally and, and locally that, that we can reach out and touch. Um, one of the reasons of asking the assistance of the FBI to come in is they have a long-reaching arm. Um, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm confident with what we're doing here 
and the tips and the information that's being funneled out west, I'm, I'm confident that that system is moving uh, effectively. Two more, two more questions. You, the Mosquito family said yesterday that what happened in Wyoming happened. It indicates that they know that something did occur in Wyoming and that there's information that we're not aware of or that's not being given to us and maybe being withheld from you. Do you know what happened in Wyoming? Do you know what they meant? The fact of the matter is, Gabby is missing, and I think that that's what they're referring to. Of course, but Gabby's all, missing. this is a huge investigation. We have internet press from all across the country here, and if there's something that's part of the story that's not being told, I think you know the public has a duty to understand. You're, you're looking into something that's not there. I think what the family's position on it was, she went missing. The last area was out in Wyoming, so she's not here. So where is she? Now, you you thought that we aren't ruling out, it's really tough to talk about, but they're not ruling out any connection to possible homicides that happened there as well. Have you guys looked into that? Is there anything you can tell us in relation to that? We have communication going back and forth with the uh, Grand County Sheriff's Office. Um, we provided them with whatever information we could. Uh, they don't have any suspect information right now, so you would have to refer that to them, but they told us that they're looking at, at everything at this point. Kim, one last question. Right now, no. Right now, all we have is the missing person investigation on that. Okay. Really simple question. You said you know where Brian is. Is he at his parents' house? All I'm going to say is I know where Brian's at. All right. Thank, Thank you, you guys. You can certainly follow up with us, me. You all seem to have my phone. So uh, call, and we'll, uh, we'll answer any follow-up questions. Thank you.